Moro to Nima When we first came here, this was just, okay, we can't see the ponds unfortunately with this camera angle, but behind us there is about 10-12 hectares of ponds. When we first came to this area, there was, there was nothing, there was, there was a few fields with a sort of a rain fed crop of, of maize once a year if, if both were lucky, some goats grazing, some cattle grazing, but very little economic activity happening in the area. Of course, once upon a time this area was thriving with the fishing industry, but as, as the wild fish catch has absolutely plummeted in the last few years, um, depending on the statistics you look at, between 70 and 90 percent collapse in the fisheries in the last 15 years. That's led this incredible resource here in terms of the people, but very little economic activity. So what we do as a company is, is a lot of our a lot of our staff, a huge chunk of those, is we take the fishermen and retrain them to be fish farmers. Today, after six years of operations, we've got 600 staff. The majority of those live were born and raised within those fields i mean within these hills so you're, you're taking that the local community that incredible human resource working hand in hand with our partners with our stakeholders to to develop not just a farm and grow a farm but also to grow a community at the same time at the moment this farm we're producing something in the region of 8,000 tons of fish per annum um, we've got infrastructure for a little bit more than that. We're just trying to iron out a few sort of kinks in the in the production process to be a bit more consistent in our numbers. But we've got the so current production is about 8,000. We have probably a, a capacity of somewhere between 10 and 12, depending on how you measure it. Is this incredible latent need for fish, need for protein in this part of the world? Um, Kenya as a country produces one of the lowest average levels of, of fish per, an, per capita per annum globally. Global average is around about 25 kg per person per year. Kenya's only consuming today about 3 or 4 kg per person. Um, government figures say that the potential demand for tilapia alone in this country is 400,000 tonnes. And I say we're doing maybe 8,000. So it's a tiny, tiny fraction of, of what the need is. And this lake, I mean, yeah, going all the way up, okay, the whole lake, and, and we of course must include, include our neighbours in Uganda and Tanzania, this, this lake has the potential to feed the whole region. At the moment, there's a lot of imported fish coming into, into Kenya, into surrounding countries, absolutely no need. East Africa should be exporting tilapia. This is the home of tilapia. It's where it was evolved in these very waters. And that, that potential to grow these fish here, yes, in, in these beautiful, pristine waters here in, in, in Suba, Suba Kitsap County, Homer Bay, incredible potential here, but throughout Kenyan waters, throughout the wider Lake Victoria, potential to grow fish is huge. And as I say, there's this just latent demand. We, um, Victory Farms, we are a fish farm. Victory Farms is a fish farm. We are the largest fish farm um, in this region. We currently harvest an average of just above 25,000 kilograms every day, that's 25 tons. And uh, despite our contribution to um, the fish market in this country, there still exists a deficit of 280,000 uh, tons. Translated, 280 million kilograms of fish deficit in this country. So really, we have a wonderful resource in the lake and I would encourage um, all of the communities around the riparian areas to get involved in aquaculture, in cage fishing, but to do so responsibly because we only have one lake and we have to preserve this environment so that we can all benefit from it. Consumption, the national consumption of fish in Kenya is 4.1 kilos per year. While in Africa, the average is 10 kilos per year, so we need more fish in Kenya. Homo Bay, of course, is a major producer of fish, but we realize that not most of the tilapia which is being consumed in Kenya, which is currently the preferred fish species, is coming from Homo Bay. 
we would boast of Nile perch, which is coming from Lake Victoria. But when it comes to tilapia, now we have to look for the fish elsewhere. This is where aquaculture comes in. Our farmers are producing, uh, they were at around 40 tons and they were coming down annually, that is from the ponds. So when cage farming was introduced, it helped to boost our production beyond the 40,000 kilos that the fish farmers are producing from ponds annually. And it is now heading towards uh, 10,000. We have not really reached there because the last statistic was talking of uh, 9,800 tons. And in Kenya, fish from aquaculture, the last certified statistics was talking of we were having 19,945 metric tons of tilapia from aquaculture. Kenya requires more because when we do the calculation of 45 million people requiring to eat 4 kilos of fish, you realize that we still have a major deficit because we would be talking of we need at least 400,000 tons of fish assorted to be consumed by Kenyans. And uh, for tilapia, we are still talking of just slightly below 20,000 metric tons. In Homo Bay, Victory Farms has helped to produce and to bridge the gap. But we also agree that most of it is going outside the county because the national demand is also there. And that's why they would have outlets all over. We are hoping as a department to try and improve on regulations on t in terms of where and how cage farming is supposed to be done. And at the same time, under ABDP, we are exploring how to assist the community to do community cage farming. We are in the process of finalizing the regulations and we are hoping to roll out a suitability study for cages for community, which will come out sometime at the end of this month. And then from there now we'll approach International Fund for Agriculture Development, IFAD, to see if they can sponsor and we have now more community people doing cage farming. I'm <laughs> <laughs>